do a quick unboxing video of the new Drift HD Ghost. Alright, so let's go into it. I'm quite excited about this camera. First actual camera that's suited towards moto vlogging. Right, so outside box comes a little plastic bag. Alrighty. Very whoa. Just about broke the thing. Um, very first impressions is a little bit bigger than what I looked on the internet. That's more open. I need to cut these two little bits. Yeah. Let's try now. There we go. Side. side. Right, so there she is. New Drift Ghost. And this is the remote, the new remote that they've just come out with. Um, a lot of motor vloggers are going to like that because you can pause and play. Um, and it gives you lots of little flashy, bloody Christmas lighty things along here. And indicates what mode it's in and if it's recording or not. So you don't have to go, oh, is it recording? Is it recording? I don't know. And then you're not going to have to worry about <laughs> driving along doing a vlog and not have recorded it. So that's very, very handy. Let's get the rest of it open. Very nice box, by the way. Put that back on. Alright, how do we... Oh, there we go. Everything's falling out, so I imagine that's the computer cable. We've got the external microphone jack. I imagine that's an adapter. We have a goggle mount. I'm pretty sure that's a goggle mount, yeah. Um, some drift stickers. Probably put them with a bike on the helmet or something. Um, what's that? A quick guide manual. Yeah, no, I don't think we need that. Um, no, that's the mount that stays on the camera. If you're just going to use these adhesive mounts or the goggle mount or something, that just clips in. So then we have a curved adhesive mount, so you can put it on get the helmet, you can stick it on the helmet. Mm. And then a flat adhesive mount. So obviously different mounting options there. Um, that's just the strap that you use for the remote, I imagine. I imagine you probably use that for the goggle mount as well. Yeah, it looks like it fits. Alright, battery. Pretty solid battery. Hopefully that indicates better battery life. And that is the flap that can go on the back of the case instead of this waterproof one. So that you can get at the instruments at the back. Now Drift boasts that the camera is waterproof straight out of the box. So let's see if we can get it off here. I'll do that little thing at the bottom. There we go. Yeah, so straight out of the box, it's supposed to be 100% waterproof down to, I think, 3 metres or 10 feet, they say. Yeah, so this back piece is what's holding, clamping all the instruments down at the back. Looks like a submarine door thing. To open the submarine doors. Alright, let's get this off. Yeah, and that's, that's got a little gasket in there to keep it waterproof. Alright, and there is also a case available from Drift if you're a scuba diver and you can take it down to I think 160 metres or something. So we can stick a battery in, I'm trying to see that way. Clamp it down and then lock it in. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to move like that. Put the submarine door back on. Alrighty, so this is supposed to be Gorilla Glass, as with the front, which is supposed to be quite resistant and hopefully it's not going to crack on you or anything. And then the mount on the back is supposed to be, I think, a three quarter inch mount and that's supposed to be universal for a lot of cameras so you don't have to use drifts tripod and stuff um 
Yeah, so it's just a universal mount, which is quite good at drift. Alright, so now we've got the battery in there. Let's tie it. Let's see if she has any charge. Oh, yeah, drift. <laughs> and the first shot is my hand. Hello. Now, another great thing about Drift products is that you can rotate, it's going to be a bit hard to see, but you can rotate the lens. See that rotating? So if you have a shot, it's very hard to do. Have a shot like, ooh, just about saw my face. Oh, there we go, battery's dead. Oh, wait, no, not. Yep. So if you have a shot like this, you can rotate it. It's a bit hard to see with my hands in a way, but yeah. Alright, well, maybe we do need the man now. Anyway, um, yeah, so if you have the lens at the front here, and if you get it mounted in such a way that it's not perfectly square, you can just account for it by slightly moving it, which is pretty helpful, because I mean, I've seen a lot of videos with guys on the internet that have a slightly tilted left or right um, camera angle. Alright, so that is... I'm just about to finish that now. Um, that's the new Drift Ghost from... Um, drift Innovations. This camera cost me four hundred and fifty dollars off of eBay. That's Australian dollars. I don't know what it's like for your country, but um, in Australia it's four hundred fifty bucks. I got it from. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching the video. Um, I might do another video on how to get these onto the helmet and get a good angle and stuff. And so a lot now that we've got a good quality camera, a lot more videos on the way, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,